Here we go. The Merry Men's Mistress. She was named that because whenever we're out, we're having a great time. And rightfully so, it's a great boat. Let's start with the power plants. We've got a 2013, everything on the boat is 2013. Uh, it's a 2013 Yamaha 90. Right now, it's got about 126 hours on it, hardly nothing. Uh, the kicker that's on her is a Yamaha 8 horse kicker, and that has about 260, 70 hours. Um, you know what? Let's just take a look. Let's just take a look because both of these have a tachometer on them. And I can tell you, 234 hours right now. I don't know how well you can see that, but that's what's on it. So I did not buy this brand new, the kicker. But we, the guy that I bought it from was an older gentleman. He told me and had about 10 hours on it when I bought it. And I will tell you, uh, it looked brand new when I bought it. So I put that tack on there. The other Yamaha was bought brand new. So we're fairly certain that the hours meter that's on that is correct. Now, being a kicker motor, taking some abuse as a, as a bow fishing boat, one of the things I did right away was I built this up. I welded on a bead here, and it's got an extra uh, stiff skeg to it. Uh, we've got several uh, kicker, I believe I have four that will go with the boat, different uh, props that are on here. This one's in okay shape, not great. I've got one four blade that's brand new, and I've got another three blade that's almost brand new, and then I've got two three blades that have been used. So right back here, we've got our stand. Well, I've got a lot of LED lights on this boat. We've got an LED light in the middle that basically lights up the whole back platform. We've got an LED light right here that I installed so that when you're standing in the front, you can see what's going on and make sure that you're still peeing water, making sure everything that's cool on here. <clears throat> right now, last year, I put on, just this spring, actually, I put on an Atlas jack plate. Um, I'm planning to keep that unless somebody really wants it with the boat. I'm planning to keep it for my next build. I've got a Talon. Uh, this is an eight foot Talon on here. Great for if you're fishing tournaments and uh, you get up close to docks or something and you've got a fish on and you need to stop the boat and just deal with what's going on at the moment. You deploy the Talon and you're, you're set right there. So everything's run by Powertran. Um, it's got a little a little uh, plate back here, or a little stand, I guess, that I built. Um, houses my two Honda generators that are that are uh, companion generators, and they run the whole system for me. Let's go inside for a second and see. This is an 1872, if you're wondering. I didn't say that right away, but it's an 1872 boat. Um, it's got a Lowrance HDS-8 that was new about a year and a half ago. Um, that's my Garmin Rhino. That probably won't go with the sale. Um, I use that as well for a uh, radio when, if, if we need it or whatever. Um, everything's run. Uh, the kicker's run by a Powertrans system and a Control King system. Um, let's go up front. This boat is a big boat. Um, it's got a lot of space in front. It is a tournament boat. That's what it's built for. Got a little canopy on it. Up here we've got, uh, well, down here. Let's just start down here. I put in a on-off switch for power because uh, I like to be done at the end of the night and make sure I didn't leave anything on an accident. So you've got that. You've got your system up here. Not turn it on so we've got uh, a stereo system the boss stereo system we've got two big can speakers back here we've got two eight inch speakers back here um, connected to the top of the canopy we've got two speakers in front as well that'll give you some tunage um, just added this last year. This is a lean bar. Got a couple spots to have drink holders in. We've got a system here to 
put your bow in if you want to do that. Lots of front deck storage space. It's about a six foot deck on here. Um, you can see inside here, uh, LED lights, red interior LED lights. You've got your um, interstate batteries up front. We got one battery that runs specifically the kicker motor and all the accessories. We've got another battery up front here that runs just the LEDs on the boat. Uh, mostly I use those for navigation purposes. Um, also inside here is our digital ballast. So the boat has six 400 watt uh, high pressure sodium lights on it and they're run by these digital ballasts that are inside here. And everything is hooked up to the Jennies in the back. There's three switches in here to turn the two front lights on, two side lights on, and the other two side lights on. Uh, the LED lights are run from switches right on here. Um, this little LED light actually runs the control panel up front. Uh, there's an LED light on that. But this runs your left side, this runs your le right side, and this one currently doesn't do anything actually. So um, Your running lights, there's a 52 inch light bar up front and uh, that is controlled from right here. You can see that says light bar. I don't know how you can see it or not. This is for your up down currently of the jack plate. Uh, this is for two, I can't remember what the wattage is of them is, but they're up to a thousand meters. They are beams and they are powerful. They're um, really nice addition if you're running riverways where you want to see buoys and stuff. Otherwise, everything else is pretty standard back there. Uh, systems run by a Baystar hydraulic steering. You can see that right there. Um, there's the LEDs. They're actually on right now. Um, we usually use a 70 pound or 70 gallon uh, tank up front. You, there's plenty of room in here to do a lot of different things. So if you like the brute containers, you can certainly do the brute containers as well. Um, there's also a on off switch right here that turns the power on and off to the uh, LED lights. And I'm just going to turn those on so when we get outside, you can see all that as well. Turn those on. We get the front light bar on. We get the driving lights on. So, maybe that never got turned off from last time. Let's try that again. Nope. Over here. Over here. There we go. All right. So, let's go up front. Take a look. What do we got up front here? We have got the enough pedestal spots for six seats and this platform really does easily um, shoot five guys off from it comfortably um, you can fit three guys on the front of the boat um, across the front of the boat three guys on a tournament team is absolutely perfect you know so here's the control panel it's all uh, powertrain that's running your kicker motor back there you can see that then we got the control king that does your your throttle up and down for your kicker and the only thing that's actually manual is this up and down for your shifter for reverse neutral and forward gears um, it's also got your on off switch and you've got um, you push that in that's your choke uh, it's a four stroke motor as well so here's your key this is your tim tim trim up and down and then uh, I added a 12 volt accessory um, and this has also got a plug-in so that if you want to listen to your tunes you can put it right up here I, I put these ram mounts in so you can do that uh, let's go and see what we've got here these are show me customs uh, six 400 watt HPS lights like I was talking about little walk around these are, I believe, four 27 watt LED lights on each side. Like I said, I usually just use them for navigation. Um, this is a 52 inch, uh, 300 watt, I believe, light bar. And then you've got those uh, navigation lights up front. I can't remember what they're rated at, maybe 52, 60, 72 watts, something like that. 
but they supposedly were out 2,000 meters and they are they are impressive. So LED uh, navigation lights, I didn't turn those on when I was in there, but you've got four more on the other side as well. The wrap was done by N Designs. Uh, you're all familiar with him and uh, Mr. Jeff Nebel originally uh, also done in not 2013 but I've owned the boat for three years and about three years ago uh, is when it was done when I bought it it was brand new at that point this boat's been stored inside in my machine shed uh, when I'm not using it so it didn't take a lot of sun fade trailers a custom trailer that it sits on uh, 15 inch tires and they are all basically brand new I replaced them when I got the trailer so they are all in extremely good shape. They have all good tread. They are an ST225 75R15. And they have like the Vortex hubs on them that have the inside this, you've got your grease circ that actually goes in and flows inside the, um, the, geez, I, the bearings so that you don't have to take anything off to regrease it. So um, I actually did replace all the bearings as well last year um, just to be on the safe side to make sure that I knew that they were new at that point. I didn't know when the last time they had been done. So all LED lights uh, on the trailer as well, all the way around and uh, lights back here, the LED lights in the back. Um, that's about it. I don't know what else I can tell you guys. It is a great rig. Um, it runs great. And uh, it's, it's a tournament ready, fishable rig. Um, this, this bar actually comes off as well. So this is not permanent. This is mounted into seat swivel pegs um, so that you can take it off if you don't want that. I just put it up there so that guys in the back have a spot to stand or grab onto and uh, that's about it. Let me know if you guys have questions. Thanks for looking.